An amazing story, an amazing man, Terry Hitchcock. We've we've known each other for a while, Terry, since yeah. your amazing Odyssey back in 1996. Yes. The movie is coming out. It's going. It's debuting nationally March 31st, and then going to be in theaters across the country. Uh, we have a trailer coming up momentarily, but just give us a brief understanding of how you and Billy Bob Thornton came together to tell your story, which will be released nationally here soon. Well, Billy Bob Thornton is the narrator of the documentary. It's called My Run. It's uh, about my life and, in particular, my journey to Atlanta to the opening ceremonies. I ran the equivalent of a marathon a day for 75 consecutive days. Let's look at the trailer now, and we'll come back with more on Terry Hitchcock and his story and his movie. This is the story of Terry Hitchcock and the two marathons that shaped his life. The one he ran and the one he lived. The five of us was a very tight family. Fun, telling jokes. I got a call one day from Sue and she said, would I mind coming home? She said, I just came back from the doctors. The doctor said I had breast cancer. When Sue died, I said to God, you know, how come not me? but I think I had a lot to learn. I began to appreciate what single parents go through. Someone had to get out there and talk about what these kids need and what these families need. I said, I want to do a marathon a day. Now into the unknown. You look at this guy, you do not think this is a marathon runner. Well, he's 56 years old, he's on high blood pressure medication, and I don't think he's really ever run before. What did I get myself into? Numbing cold, stifling heat, uphill, downhill, day after day. You know, his feet were just eaten up from the constant pounding he was taking. I started to feel real dizzy. Everything started getting red. I'm getting chest pains. I felt that this was a calling for me. If I could just get out on the highway, somehow I could tell the story of what I knew kids were going through. Dr. Terry Hitchcock, millions of children were being raised by single It was very cold. There are all kinds of side effects from not getting recovery. It was 24 hours a day. Now the people around you were starting to go away too. not want to lose my dad. Every one of us can do something. Be a hero. Be somebody's hero. The movie is coming out, debuting, well, for a local guy here from Prior Lake, Minnesota, you're going to, Minnesota here is going to be a place where they can see it, yeah. uh, as well as the rest of the country. That's yeah. exciting. Yeah, it really is. Uh, it's going to be in 11 theaters in Minnesota, and then it's going to be in 541 theaters across the country, March 31st. It's very exciting. You wrote the book, and obviously you're a fantastic motivational yeah. speaker. I've, I've known you for a long time. Uh, this really is a lesson that has it resonated enough with people what you originally set out to do with this run and what became of it? Well, you know, that was in 1996, and now there's a few people that have run across America, but it, 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 was, a, it, it was a person who never was a runner. I never really ran much more than maybe a couple 10Ks, and everybody said it was impossible, but I wanted to see if I could do it because I wanted to honor uh, single parents and their kids, about 35 million people. And so I wanted to get out there and at least have an opportunity to say something about what people go through every day. And I wanted to show them that if I could do this, then we all could run our own daily marathons and, and really be successful in our lives. Since then, I know you've, you've helped uh, a lot of people with your message. And, and you're continuing to do that. Your book is available. We encourage people, if they'd like the book, A Father's Odyssey. Mm -hmm. I've read it. There's a lot of great testimonials in there from people in the Twin Cities here and the region. 
talk about the book and, and other places where they can find out more about what you are and what you're doing. Right. I, I think the best way to get the book is really go on my website because I sign all books. I put a personal letter oh, with it. And uh, it's really my way of giving back. I give a portion of the proceeds to breast cancer, to diabetes, and also to Asperger's. And the, the movies won so many awards. Oh. Is it, is it what you wanted? Sometimes you hear movies don't turn out exactly the way the, the person wanted it. What's your, what's your quick little mini review? <laughs> well, I, of, of course, I'm kind of a quiet guy, and yeah. I really didn't want to get out into the spotlight. But it, it's really a beautiful, a, a beautiful film. It's about life. It's a love story. It's a book about hope. It, it was, last year it was in 15 film festivals, and it came in first in 11. I mean, it's, it's phenomenal. And real quick, how did Billy Bob Thornton become involved? Well, he you? heard about it, and he, he called the director and producer, Tim Vandensteeg, and he said, I have to be part of this. And so they got together, and Billy Bob watched what was done at that time, and he said, I have to do something with this. What do you need? And found out that we needed a voice and so he's, he's the voice of it, and he even wrote some music for it. Outstanding. Well, Terry, as always, wish you the best. Encourage everyone Thank get you. out see the movie if you'd like the book. He's a local product from right here in the Twin Cities, ready to go national, and you're going to hear a lot about this movie and this book. Terry, thanks so much. My pleasure. Before Thank you, you go on Jay Leno, I'm glad you came by <laughs> Channel 6. Thank you. Thank you. My pleasure. <laughs> Appreciate that very much.